In this video, I'm going to show you how you can assign weekends to people who want to work weekends for you. I manipulated um, a video that I did recently that um, assigned people to different projects. But this is a situation where, um, for example, if you have weekends work and weekend you're paid double or double time or whatever, or there's some reason why weekends would be attractive, then you have a list of your uh, of your staff here, and once again, this comes from the number, the random name generator. So if your name's on it, you're lucky. And for each weekend, um, depending on the month, so for the first weekend, you put a yes in if you want to work that weekend, and you leave it blank if you don't want to work that weekend. Now, um, the ones that have yes in it that have more than than two, because you need uh, this is. This is Saturday, Sunday for each weekend and Saturday, Sunday for each weekend. Now, if you have um, more than uh, two people for each one, you can go through and keep people from having to work or working all the weekends. So, for example, this person here um, worked Saturday um, on the first weekend. And so what I'm going to do to make, make her not be able to work on the last one is I'm going to select and change the color to anything um, because the code is going to look for something that doesn't have a background color. And so so now this this person will be able to work uh, both the first weekend and the last weekend. And then um, the same thing for the second person here. Let's color this one and so that they're not working um, more. But you have to make sure that you have two in each column before you do that. So now let's populate the weekends. And there you go. So Heidi here um, is working the first weekend, but she's not working the last weekend. And so, so you, spread, you spread out the, um, the people among them. So let me show you the code. So now I put the code um, below the field so you can see it work. And so what we're going to do is we are going to F8 through here. And so um, first of all, I declared uh, row and column, and that refers to the cells over here. And R and R, R A and C A means row and column availability. In the last row, I know how many people I have, so I put in 18. I could also calculate the last row. And so for it's a starts at column equals two, which is the first weekend. So let's scroll up. And so now it goes from column equals two to five. So that is the four weekends that we're worried about. And then row equals five, which is uh, the first Saturday that you're trying to fill. And RA is uh, row uh, is equal to six. And so now what I've done is I've done a case select here. And so I say, um, if C equals two, then the, uh, the, row, the column availability is nine. So that would be the first Saturday would be this Saturday here. And so let's go through this. So I'm going to go F8, 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 and then I'll bring it up. And then of course, the, um, the first column is two. And then it's going to equal nine, and so that I'm going to, that's the end of my select. And then what I'm going to do is uh, for row availability equals six, so that's where they start on to the last row. If cells if cells are availability, C availability. Interior color equals nothing. So if that's that's where I was showing you that if you color them in, it won't be used. Then, then you continue on. If the active cells are availability and C availability value equals Y, if there's a Y there, then you the text box um, active sheet availability. So this is the, the text. And the active, so what you're going to do is put the name that's next to here on there. So let's just F8 through here a bit more. 
So I've, I've colored it in blue so it doesn't get used again. And there you go, there's Heidi in the first one. So now let's go to the second time slot. So that, that's the first time slot. So now we're going to go over the list again. And then if it's blue or any color, it's going to ignore it. And so now it's going to take Kendra for the second person there. And then it's going to be quite happy. And now we're going to go to Sunday. So this was the two slots for Saturday. And then we're going to um, go on to Sunday. Same thing. Now it's going to have to go down quite a bit. If you notice Sunday, um, it's not until about six down here that we have to, until we get someone. So we have to go through here a few times. And so there you get, there's your Stacy O'Brien. And now it goes to So now it's going to go to the second time slot on Sunday. So we're going to continue to F8. So now we're going to get Carolyn Parsons. And there it goes. Okay. I will, of course, include all the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.